Today, we are gonna make a really delicious and easy to make craft cocktail, the Moscow Mule. We're also gonna talk a little bit about the history, and at the end, we're gonna have some fun variations on this delicious drink. I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves coming up with fun and creative cocktails. Today, we will be looking at the Moscow Mule, which is technically part of the highball family. So what I mean by that is, it is a blueprint of how this cocktail and many in this family work. It is base spirit, carbonated mixer, and acid. So if you're gonna be making this cocktail today with me, you're gonna have vodka, ginger beer, and lime juice. So the history of this drink is really interesting. One of my favorites, actually. There are three people sitting at the bar. Um, kind of starts off like a joke. You have the Smirnoff rep, you have somebody that sells copper mugs, and you have a bartender who has a very large supply of ginger beer in the back room. They collaborate and come up with this fun cocktail known as a Moscow Mule. So now let's go ahead and make the cocktail. So we're gonna get uh, two ounces of vodka. Classically, it's Smirnoff. Um, I don't have it, so I'm gonna be using this one. And we're just gonna pour it right into our shiny copper mug. Then I'm gonna to top off about four to six ounces, about halfway up with ginger beer. And I'm gonna squeeze half a lime in there as well. The acid really does help. Um, just make this cocktail a lot more interesting. And now we're just gonna go ahead and top with ice. There we have it, that is the Moscow Mule. We're just gonna garnish it with a lime. And uh, yeah, delicious, delicious drink. Now that you've made it to the very end, let's go ahead and talk about some of the more popular variations on the Moscow Mule. The first, and probably the most popular, is the addition of bitters. Just a couple of dashes here really does elevate the cocktail. Highly recommend adding Angostura bitters. The second one is the addition of mint. It adds a nice kind of vegetal brightness to the cocktail, which I highly, highly recommend. Now, earlier we talked about this being part of the highball family, base spirit, carbonated mixer, and acid. So if we take a look at those, we can do a simple substitution by replacing the vodka with something like bourbon, for example. And this transforms it and is known as the Kentucky Mule. So if we replace the bourbon with mezcal, for example, now we have something called the Oaxacan Mule. Um, now with this particular variation, I really like taking a look at the second variable, and that is the um, carbonated mixer. So instead of a classic ginger beer, Hibiscus ginger beer goes really well with this. So there are a lot of different styles of ginger beer out there. So this could be a fun variable to play with in this um, formula as well. There we have some of the more popular variations on the Moscow Mule. If you had a favorite that we did or you have a favorite of your own, definitely add them into the comments below. Now I know you've all watched YouTube videos in the past, so you know what we're gonna ask. Go ahead and hit the subscribe, like, and the bell icon, and you'll get notified anytime we make other cocktail videos like this one. Cheers everyone.